Hi everyone! Kumusta po kayong lahat? Today, I'm going to share with you how I cared for this string of hearts that my husband got for free from a Facebook group. He thought of getting it so I could save the plant. As you can see, it's long, tangled, and it's just growing in one direction. And the leaves are really dry. So the first thing that I did was to water it really well. I let it soak in the water for a few minutes and drain them well. Then I brought it indoors since this plant was grown indoors. Then I placed them where it gets sunlight. So here it is after two weeks. Overall, it looks a lot healthier. And now this is ready to be repotted. By the way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Filipina and welcome to Gardening with Filipina. I'm going to use an inch wider and taller pot with holes. Then I'm going to use a succulent soil mixture. If you want to learn how to make your own succulent soil mixture, I'm going to attach the link in the comment section. Now it's time to repot. Right now, um, the leaves look healthy, so I'm keeping this long so I won't be cutting the stems yet. Also, uh, when I have enough time, I'll entangle the stems, but for now, I'll take care of the roots by repotting them and adding a new soil. This is an inch wider and taller. String of hearts don't cope with prolonged exposure to the cold and at the same time they don't like intense heat as well. Um, that's why this plant is commonly grown indoors because they do well indoors. They get the right amount of temperature and humidity. Now let's add the new. So here it is after repotting and then I'll water this again since the soil is already dry. So I'm using, I'm using rainwater, pero pag wala kayong rainwater, okay lang. So after draining, I'll take this back inside. You can fertilize when they're actively growing around spring and summer. I hope this video is helpful to you and if you're one of my 83% viewers that's not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing for more gardening tips.